Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations, with still more about antenna resonance and um, the various ways in which a transmatch can operate with a radio to obtain a resonant system even when the stuff beyond the transmatch is not resonant. In the previous example, Antenna Resonance Revisited, I indicated that the antenna was one half wavelength long at the operating frequency. And uh, this led our viewer to believe uh, certain specific things that need not necessarily be the case. So I'm going to generalize a little bit more and show you another system, a more general system, it will still work, uh, provided, well, it will work on almost any frequency. There are certain frequencies at which the impedance becomes so high or so low, usually too high at the transmatch, for it to be able to cope with it. Uh, certain coincidence frequencies, as you might call them. But for the most part, if you have an antenna that's at least a fourth of a wavelength long, fed at the center with ladder line of really any characteristic impedance but preferably open wire line which usually has a characteristic of characteristic impedance of 450 or 300 ohms sometimes as high as 600 ohms but it doesn't matter as long as it's low loss and its length isn't ridiculously long there should be a 90 degree angle between the feed line and the antenna to avoid imbalance in this part of the system beyond the transmatch. And this is a balanced, non-resonant system. It doesn't need to necessarily even have the antenna operate at resonance as long as its length is at least a quarter of an electrical wavelength. And you can calculate that with the frequency 234 divided by the frequency in megahertz uh, equals the length in feet. Uh, you'll, you can find all of this in antenna reference books, so I'm not going to repeat it here. For transmatches, it should have a balanced output capability, and not many transmatches have that these days, but one good make that does is Palstar. Papa, Alpha, Lima, Sierra, Tango, Alpha, no, Sierra, Tango, Alpha, Romeo, whatever, Palstar transmatches. Um, they have an excellent uh, way, a very excellent way of matching almost anything, and they also have a balanced output that doesn't cheat and use a ballon at this point. It actually has a true balanced configuration. Again, the 50 ohm coaxial cable between the transmatch and the radio should be as short as possible. And when you tune that transmatch for a one-to-one -one standing wave ratio at the radio, you will have a resonant system. Even if the antenna by itself is non-resonant, if this antenna combined with the feed line is non-resonant. Uh, you don't have to have anything res resembling resonance at all beyond the transmatch as long as the transmatch can be tuned to get a one-to-one -one standing wave ratio at the radio, assuming that the radio is designed for 50 ohms unbalanced output. Then you have a resonant system. I've used systems like this uh, on all bands. It sh you shouldn't try to make this antenna less than a quarter of a wavelength. You might be able to get out on the air and make contacts, but you're starting to get into pretty nebulous territory because the radiation resistance of such an antenna gets so low that the loss resistances can become significant even with the best transmission lines available. So this is another rather general but less general 
example than the previous uh, situation was. Uh, so hopefully this will clear up any more confusion that might exist, but um, I can't explain everything. Even the ARRL antenna book, which I highly recommend, can't explain everything, but I hope to give you some more general ideas for possible system designs. And But I will guarantee you one thing. If you don't put the bloody thing on the air, you're not going to make any contacts with it. It'll never work unless you use it and see what happens. Just don't do it during a thunderstorm, all right? I've got specific recommendations for that too, but that'd be a topic for another video on another day and another week, maybe even in another year, if we last that long. Stan Jimalisco, W1GV, saying 73. And so long, which, regardless of antenna type or frequency, regardless of whether the nation exists or not. So long shall always translate to di-di-di-da-di-da. Di, 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 di.